Yo, what's up guys? The ceiling fans of Oklahoma back with another video and today um I'm gonna be doing a commentary video of the Hampton Bay Huntington 3 ceiling fan in my room. Um I'm doing the walnut side facing down because you know this has been like this in my childhood childhood years. And this is the fan. Um if you guys are wondering about this fan, where it was at before I got this collection. I got this in my collection. This is the first fan to start my collection with. This was installed in my grandparents' living room when, um, back then, I used to um, use this fan so much. And actually, this is actually the first fan I've actually been close closest to in my entire life, ever since I was a baby. This has been in my childhood years. This is the ceiling fan I've seen the most in my life. Exactly in this finish, with the different blade. Oh well, not with the different blade arm, but all the blade arms were anti brass. Once polished brass, right now, um, this is the same exact fan um, that was in my grandparents' living room. Um, but now it's installed here in my bedroom. Um, I'm gonna be taking it down like on Monday because I'm putting my studio series up back up here for uh, Halloween. I'm putting this fan back up. So yeah. And uh, right now, for now, it has temporary full chains extensions, which is tassel ones, until I can get the my childhood ones back on there. But the pole, both pole switches <clears throat> are replacements. Um, same, so is the reverse switch, and so is the light socket facing towards the camera right here. Um, and I also replaced the capacitor in here. There is that that blade arm is a different one if you can probably tell by the finish. Um yeah, so this ceiling fan here is made in 2001. This is a this fan was manufactured by King of Fans. The motor is a Power Max motor. Um the bottom is ventless, but the top is vented. But it's has a vented motor housing on both sides. So yeah, and the Hampton Bay tag is right there. Um, so yeah, now let's get started with the light. Um, this is so I'm just letting you guys know before I talk about those these light bulbs. Um, the light sockets in this fan, they're they're all four of them originally um, sixty watts. Now this one this one right here is a six sixty, but they but they're all one hundred twenty volts. Um, now, if you're wondering what happened to the last light socket, um, I accidentally turned the bulb too tight and broke the metal. Um, and um, and I had to replace it because I made I did a little uh oh on that. So yeah, yeah, I made a little uh oh on that. And now these bulbs are daylight. I think they're Edison. Um, they look a lot like Edison bulbs, but they're different shaped. Um, but they're daylight and they're bright. They hurt my eyes. <laughs> but now let's go ahead and get started on low here. Um, this fan has been used um, mainly on low and medium, sometimes high, but um, I used to use it on high all the time. Like, I'm not even kidding. Um, this fan has been used <clears throat> on high ever since it was in my grandparents' living room. Um, I used to stand under this, underneath this thing all the time when it was on low speed. Oh, I mean high speed, I mean, not low speed. So usually, but right now, because at the moment right now, I'm not run, really running it on high so much because it gets cold in here, so that's why I don't, because I don't want to be too cold, so. And, yeah, um, for a Powermax motor, yeah, the motor does get hot, like, really easily. And it's been, it's been doing that for, since this fan got put up, that I know of. Because I, one time, felt the motor after having it on high for quite some time, and the motor was really, really hot. So. But, the fan still is working. Um, so, 
Yeah. Um, right now, the fan. This is this is the low. This was the low speed in my living room, like exactly my low speed. And now um, that's with the light on. And now here's medium speed. Um, this fan um, kind of goes <clears throat> between medium and high. It looks like a medium high, but it's actually medium. I can tell you that right now. But when you guys see high speed, your guys are going to be very, very surprised if you guys didn't watch my other videos of this fan. This fan goes faster than a lot of fit other 52 inch ceiling fans with five blades. The thing goes crazy fast, to be honest. It can, if you watch the brass, um, the polished brass blade arm, you can tell that it will go very, very fast um, just by looking at it. I'm not even joking. So, yeah. But yeah, you can see that this fan's kind of between medium and high. Um, I like to use this fan on medium usually because it's kind of, it's technically like high speed to me. So it works like high speed for me. So I don't know why, but it just does. But you can see that it does work still. Bearings are pretty bad, um, but it still spins. Who's going to care? It's not going to matter because I, I slept with these bearings here in the lot, um, here in these bearings a lot ever since it was my old room at my grandparents' house. Yeah, but here's high. Um, if you watch the brass, you can tell that goes very, very fast. Um, it goes like crazy fast. Like, like not a lot of Huntington's can do that. This one can. So, it's been doing, it did this in my grandparents' living room too, so. I can tell you that. I've always loved this fan, no matter what. Even if the blades were sagging right now, I'd still love this fan. Sag or no sag, I love it, no matter what. I don't have a problem with sagging blades, ever. So yeah. But now I'm going to show you guys the airflow. All right. Here comes the airflow right here. Um, there is a hint of bay tag. Um, now you now you guys can see it better. There it is. Um, you can tell you can see that the there goes the brass on the thing. Um, you can see it's spinning very very fast. It, it's a very fast fan to be honest. And you, yeah, that's a replacement socket. You guys are asking me. And for a close at, um, look at the bulbs, that's what they look like. And literally, this thing's like blowing a ton of my artwork around, like on my wall right now. And it's even blowing my curtain around. And I'm not even joking. So yeah. So now I'm gonna just go ahead and put the camera back on the tripod. And now I've showed the airflow. Um, now I'm just gonna go ahead and just show you guys the light again. Um, and now I can just go ahead and just shut the fan off. Yeah. So, yeah, um, if you guys were one, um, before I end off this video, I forgot to mention earlier in this video before I turn the fan on, if you guys were asking me why is the blade arm replaced, well, if you guys did not know in, um, before, the, uh, blade arm, the original, antique brass blade arm that was on this fan um, actually had um, a crack in it. Like, I'm not kidding. But it didn't fly off luckily. I'm going to show you guys right now. Um, it's this one right here. Um, this one's a replacement because, you know, um, this one, because I'm going to go, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the correct one. Um, so here's a cracked one, if you guys can't tell. There is a crack right there. You can see through it. If, if you can, yeah, you can kind of see the light going through it. That's, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this light on so and see if it's gonna show up more. Yeah, there it goes, there it goes. So yeah. 
But anyways, that's all I will. Oh, for that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more videos.